Dr. Abdel Jalil, I'm a fellow at the Esophageal Disorders Program at Medical University of South Carolina. This fellowship entails a clinical and research experience under the direct supervision of Dr. Donald Castell, a world-renowned expert in esophageal disease. We see a wide variety of complex patients who present with symptoms that could be attributed to motility defects like indigestion, heartburn, difficulty of swallowing, irritable bowel, constipation. These patients usually have been to other medical providers and exhausted many other options before reaching the possibility of motility abnormality. The dilemma of finding the cause of patients' complaints as well as the treatment plan is a challenging one. We perform uh, many tests in our lab, including uh, esophageal manometry with high resolution and impedance measurement. We also perform 24-hour pH impedance testing, wireless reflux monitoring, a smart pill, which is a test that measures the GI transit time. We also perform anorectal manometry. I truly find motility field fascinating, where a structural abnormality most of the time is absent, and a workup for motility problem is worth looking for. And it's amazing how these patients, many of them, they will have a dramatic impact in their quality of life after addressing such dysmotility problems. Clinical research is a core and essential domain uh, during this fellowship. One of the many great lessons Dr. Castell taught me is to have regularly a dedicated time for clinical research where clinical activities want to steal that time. We meet our research team, which includes Dr. Castell, the manager of the esophageal lab, Janice Freeman, who is very expert in uh, the field as well, uh, myself, the other fellows, residents, and students. We meet on a weekly basis and we discuss the ongoing research. Currently, we have close to 20 studies in between randomized controlled trials, cross-sectional studies, observational studies, and retrospective studies. Many of the research ideas come and originate from observation we find interesting during Monday's afternoon, where we usually dedicate that time to interpret esophageal and anorectal manometry. The expertise that Dr. Castell mentorship provides as well as the resources in the esophageal lab at MUSC I find is unparalleled at many other institutions in the country. During my gastroenterology interview in uh, trail this past uh, fall, I met with a prominent gastroenterologist in the nation who told me by the time I finish this uh, fellowship year with Dr. Castell, I should know more than 97% of the gastroenterologists about esophageal motility disease. And as this year unfolding, it, unfolding itself and comes to an end, I find that quote to be very true. Dr. Castell told me once, Allah, an investigative physician duty is to take something difficult and try to make it simple. And in today's medicine, I find that to be very true. Where many patients, they present with multiple and complicated problems, yet one or two of them are responsible for his or her symptoms.